Oh, hey guys. I've been doing some random shit on my computer and decided I would try to extract Wolfzone 3D from uh, Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. Um, Wolfstone 3D is that game that you find in the bar, um, Ava's Hammer. Now, I've never played, uh, Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. It's kind of on my backlog. I've been playing a lot of retro games lately. Uh, but when I saw that there was this Easter egg for, um, original Wolfenstein 3D, just kind of alternate history, I was like, What? That exists, so I set to finding out if I could rip the files from the game, and sure enough, you can. So, to do that, you're going to need to go to manixvault.net slash ecwolf slash download and grab the Wolfstone Extract tool. I'm using Windows, so this will be a Windows you know, video. Um, you're going to need to have... Um, Wolfenstein 2 installed as well. Um, I have a GOG copy, not a Steam copy, so I'll have a little bit of a hiccup that, you know, most people won't have uh, that I'll show you how to get around. You're also going to need a development build of EC Wolf, according to the Wolfstone Extract, you know, part of the website. So you'll have to go to, if you follow that link in the Wolfstone Extract, it'll take you to a development team. Uh, website and as of this video the current build uh, current development build is um, 1.3.3-410 so yeah once you get those downloaded uh, you're gonna want to go wherever your system downloads stuff and extract them now for the sake of saving myself in command prompt um, I'm just going to name it WS Extract, uh, the folder that you create. And the EC Wolf thing, you ain't got to do anything with. Uh, basically, once you extract Wolfstone, you just drop it in the EC Wolf folder and then start EC Wolf. And it should uh, detect the Wolfstone PK3. So... The hiccup that I mentioned earlier is that I have a GOG copy of Wolfenstein the New Colossus. When you run Wolfstone Extract, it's going to ask you what version do you want to extract? Do you want Wolfstone 3D or Elite Hans? German language words there. Um, that's for Wolfenstein Youngblood, I think. I don't have that game. Um, but I do have new Colossus installed as you can see here so I would follow the prompt and select one it will try to detect the Wolfenstein 2 path for Steam the default path so if you have it installed on your C drive um, you're good to go you just hit one you click enter assuming you have a Steam copy now, I don't have a Steam copy so it'll error out and close so, I mentioned a little bit ago that you're going to want to move some stuff around and rename stuff as well, so that you don't have to, um, like, type a whole bunch of shit. Oh, I have an old folder of Wolfstone Extract. Oh, okay, I forgot I had that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that, but, uh, basically... You, I moved my Wolfstone extract to uh, the renamed folder to the drive that I have my installation on. You don't need to do that. You can run this from anywhere, but um, it will save you a lot of time just kind of keeping everything on the same drive, typing shit out. So you're going to want to open command prompt. If you have the Cortana icon, I, I don't have Cortana. I have just a regular search class. Just search up cmd.exe and then hit command prompt this window will pop up and then you can go ahead and move forward with um, doing stuff type in the drive that you have the the drive letter which will show in file explorer where you have wolfstone extract at in my case it's h drive um, you type in h with a colon and then you press enter. 
So, you go to the drive where you have your um, program, and then you type in a command called change directory, and then go to whatever you named that folder. Now, I named mine WS Extract for Wolfstone Extract, just to keep it super, super simple. Now, in the command prompt, we are in this folder. And if you type directory, you can see all of the files that are in here. So, you're going to want to execute Wolfstone Extract. So you type in Wolfstone Extract. And I spelled that wrong, right? Yes, I did. .exe. So, here's the part where we fix the fact that I do not have a default Steam installation directory. Wolfstone Extract has... Uh, .exe has some command line arguments. There's language, help, and path. So you would type in slash path, change the path, and then a neat trick that I just learned recently about command prompt, the reason why I have this open in another window, is that you can take the folder that you have your, your game installed in and drag it onto command prompt, and it will put it in the window. You simply hit enter, and then you realize you screwed something up real quick. Try that again. I don't know what I messed up. Oh, it's dash P, not P-A-T-H, isn't it? Yep, okay, so I messed up the argument. Um, it's dash P, not dash path. But dash P stands for dash path. Yeah, it's syntax. So, all of this shit pops up, but basically... This tool will extract the Wolfstone PK3 from um, the files in uh, the new Colossus. Okay, so we still have um, EC Wolf in my downloads because I didn't move it because I'm a lazy. So well, we can go ahead and exit this as well. We're done with that. Take your Wolfstone PK3, put it in the EC Wolf folder, and then double click EC Wolf. And for some reason, it shows three different Wolfstone 3D PK3s. I don't know why, but for this, EC Wolf is so small that I just straight up keep different folders for different EC Wolf mods. So. Uh, I, whenever I want to run Wolfstone with this beta version right here, or this development version right here, I just select Don't Ask Me This Again, and I select a Wolfstone 3D PK3, then I hit OK. Yeah. Boots right up. It's pretty cool, if you ask me. The introduction music is a little quiet, but, you know... So yeah, that's um, that's how you get Wolfstone 3D outside of um, Wolfenstein 2: The New Colossus and running an EC Wolf. It is more intimidating to look at <laughs> than it is to actually do. So I would I would call this easy. It's just um, you know, it, it takes a little bit of typing. So yeah. I'm going to put links and stuff in the description. You make sure to go down there and look. Um, and I guess I'm going to start a playthrough of this game, too, because I really enjoy classic Wolfenstein. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.